welcome to Awake Ones. I am Alexandra Wenman. I'm Lorraine Flaherty. And we are here today in Joe's Bookshop in <laughs> Chingford with the lovely Joe. Joe, thank you for joining us on the show today. Um, but we've actually come to the bookshop today. I've been invited today uh, to give a talk about my book, but we thought what a great opportunity to come and talk to you about this gorgeous little alcove that you have here in the middle of Chingford in North London. So how did you get started with the bookshop? So, well, it was a bit of a journey, really. So I, I, I was working up in town, as you do, and I was working in a job that I sort of didn't really want to be at anymore. So it was to, do, know to do with banking <laughs> and, you know, that wasn't really my bag. It was sort of a temporary stopgap that lasted a little bit longer than what it should have done. So I was sort of there for about five years. Um, but then it was sort of like, I think it was a, a New Year's Eve and we were with um, a friend down in Dorset, Mum and I were with a friend down in Dorset, and um, it came out um, that a merchant came to me and it was a really good sort of like time to sort of like start thinking about doing things that I loved. So I was like, ooh, that could be crystals. Oh, so yeah. I was just like, because so crystals are my passion, so that's um, kind of where I'm at. And it was, it just sort of happened. So I thought, right, I'm gonna embrace it. So I bought, some little crystals, a little collection of crystals, yeah. and so when we had little workshops, I'd just get them out and try and sell them. And then um, it sort of came out, I can't remember how much time passed, but I sort of heard that the bookshop here um, was going to be closing, so the yeah. lady was trying to find someone okay. who would take it over. And I was like, oh my god, you know, at the two shops on the high street, it was the bookshop or this other shop that used to sell all this stationery when I was growing up. So I was like, oh, wonder if I can. And it just sort of, yeah, it was magical the way it sort of happened, the timing. Um, it just sort of all fell into place. I sort of managed to get a loan, right. <laughs> as you do, and because um, I didn't go through like the normal channels. So it was um, a bit of a leap of faith on okay. my part. And yes. the universe just totally supported me in that. That's and it. it was great because it was an established bookshop already and it had a little mind body spirit group already so, so already I could just expand it yeah That's yeah so, so cool. I could just expand it so I thought right well I'll just eek the section out yes. <laughs> put in all my crystals right. and um, it's just sort of grown from there and sort of being here five years now um, people really do know me for right. the crystals yeah so we still carry on our mind body and spirit events so we have two of those on a Tuesday and I also do a channeled meditation evening on the fourth Thursday of every Amazing. month as so well. Do you have so a little workshop space in here as well? Or you just so have it's just it in here. here. Yeah. So yeah, so, so it's just gorgeous. in here. So we set it out with chairs and um, we move things about as we need to. And That's so perfect. Yeah. In amongst the books, in amongst all yeah. the magic. It is That's the magic. I do call it the magic of yeah. the bookshop. It yes. is. It really is. So yeah. But it does and it feels really magical. Even just walking in here that was a, a, a complete energy of, I mean I love books anyway, mm -hmm. that's my passion, so yeah. to be in a place full of books, but there was something else, and so you did something a little bit magical when you were actually yeah. renovating the place. Yeah, managed to tweak it a little bit <laughs> with some extra crystals, so um, wherever I could I literally got crystals put in, so like if there was cement going down and it wasn't going to affect anything, I did that, and the floor came up, they like, all went in the floor, <laughs> <laughs> and um, so yeah, I, I literally have you know, it is my thing, and yeah. I really wanted that energy for this place and yeah. this space. And like you say, you've got the tree energy here as well, because obviously having so many books in the space, yeah. and it has actually been a bookshop for a long time. So the lady You're before me- You're not far me, from Waltham Forest, are you? No, well, yeah. just, just on the doorstep, just on yeah. the doorstep. So um, Epping Forest is a beautiful Epping place Forest, to yeah. go, yeah. And um, yeah, so the lady had before me had this as a bookshop for 25 years, yeah. but it was a bookshop before she had it. So right. the chap before Mr. Tudor had it for 25 so this, um, wow. years. But you think so this bookshop yeah. is choosing who like, comes yeah. in as its guardians, maybe. Probably, maybe. probably. But I do have a bit of a history with the road anyway, okay. because next door but one, where we've currently got a hairdresser's, um, was actually where my mum used to be with her mum and dad. They had a sweet shop in the 60s, oh and God. they used to live above it. So I'm this literally This is like just, Diagon Alley. Yeah, <laughs> it is. It's kind of bringing our family energy back, yeah, perhaps. Yeah. I have no idea. There's some connection, and I'm just running with it, really. Wow. So do you so. run crystal workshops and things in here, Jo? Um, I don't particularly. I, I mean, we do talk about some crystals. Yeah. If people are interested, um, we can always do that as a theme mm. for an evening. Um, I have done an odd little one, like an intro to yeah. things like that, but I've not done like set courses. 
and things like and things that. Things like that. So, so yeah. obviously you get in a lot of different kind of mm. authors and, and experts in the field in here mm. to do talks, don't you? Mm. So who who have you had in here? Who, tell us a little bit about who's <laughs> been into the bookshop. So, well, I've, I've only started to do um, that little bit more, like doing proper author events. I've had Chrissy Astor a couple of times mm. now. So she came just recently with her beautiful Guardian Oracle card set. Um, and we had like a mini workshop and so we, we got to pick cards and we were trying to interpret the images and Lovely. we heard how her vision came of the images for the words and, and things so that was amazing, I really enjoyed that and she's also been in with her um, book, The Seven Steps into Angel Light so yeah. um, that was also another event but I've, yeah, it's sort of like it's, it's almost synchronistic, quite yeah. often you have people just sort of pop up or you mm. meet and then it's like, ooh, or something sparks and you're like, oh, yeah, got to try and get that person <laughs> yeah, yeah. and see if it will work. I had um, a lovely angel lady um, who's based, I think, in Huddersfield. Mm. She came down for her angel workshop book and um, so we did that in here as well. Um, that was really lovely. And we've had um, yeah, Diane Pegler as right. well with the Sacred Order of the Magi. Oh, I don't know amazing. if you've read her one. Yeah. 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 yeah, so that was a really interesting event as well. So yeah, there's been a few, there's yeah. been a few. Amazing. But um, it's sort of, because my passion's there, I think that's where I've sort of aimed the themes for you know, doing events and things. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. that's amazing. I mean, I always remember years ago not knowing what path I was supposed to take, and mm. I always had this idea in my mind because I love books so much. Yeah. How amazing it would be to have a bookshop and then sell yeah. crystals. So you, yeah. it's that you've kind of created <laughs> the vision. Thing that was on my brain <laughs> from years ago, and it is. That. Yeah, I know. I know. It's it's. It's so magical, but even, I mean, I'm loving even the, the windows. Yeah, it, it's one of yeah. the original features, yeah. and when they were redoing bits of it, I was like, I can't lose that, no, I can't lose so that. I love that and, we still um, have that. Really, I think that the, the wood front did really need redoing, but... I'd want the windows back so you know yeah. that's going to be a considerable thing so I guess I better start saving <laughs> 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 but um, yeah no it is beautiful and people notice it more now funnily mm. enough it was yeah. all dark in here before so it was dark wood on the inside um, so and the ceiling did actually go up a bit more they've sort of brought it down and, and sort of put more insulation or soundproofing and things it's very bright and upstairs. light in here yeah, though, isn't it? yeah. yeah. It's they, they used to have arches that came across um, okay. but it's been completely opened out right. so it makes the space so much more versatile we can move yeah. things around yeah. for christmas you can have extra tables or right. if you've got you know workshop that you need to have the floor free you yeah. can just move just everything, everything yeah. yeah yeah so Fantastic in space. terms of all your all the all the things that you sell in here you mm. what i love is that you've got a real mixed bag like yes. it's not just spiritual it's not I just I, I need to grab something yeah. going to grab something um yes. yeah. it's it's you know you've got you've got the pendulums you've got the crystals you've got the yeah. incense you've mm. got the spiritual box you've got the best array of oracle cards and we'll show the oracle cards. Oh, I have just, I am <laughs> so in love. I am so in love. So I've just literally bought this beautiful pendulum <laughs> and uh, which so, is so indigo I love that yeah it's gorgeous it's, yeah. they call them aura, yeah. aura pendulums yeah. but yeah. it's, it's um, bonded with quartz. some type of metal I, I always forget I which know, ones I know. something they dip it in something don't they but it's yeah, kind of bonded with a heat process normally isn't it yeah. so it's yeah, it's some form of a and it's metal. so lovely. And as soon as I picked mm. it up, I mean, it was literally just sort of jumping, like it was really excited. I don't think I've ever had a <laughs> pendulum that was quite so animated before. So yeah, yeah some of the pieces that you have and, here. And we're just get, let's just bring in this beautiful woman here. <laughs> come in, Pen. <laughs> this is, this is Jo's mum, and she's just come in with this gorgeous singing bowl. <laughs> Do you want to play a bit? So they've got the singing bowls. Gosh, you've got everything. I have singing it's, bowls. Yeah, sound has oh. also been very important to me. Could maybe use this in the meditation. Of course, room. yeah. And showcase the singing bowls too. Oh, I love them. I, you guys are the third mother-daughter uh, duo that I that we've had on that I've had on my show. So yeah. we've had uh, Lydia and her mum in uh, Ibiza. And then uh, Geraldine and Bali in Atlantis Bookshop as yeah. well, haven't we? It's oh, so yeah. lovely, like mum and daughters yeah. coming together and doing this magic. It's beautiful. Yeah. Thank you, Pam. <laughs> so, so, Pam, stay here. <laughs> she just wanted to disappear. <laughs> She's trying something. to get out. <laughs> She's trying to disappear. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, do you want to come back in? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we want to know about 
about you too, yeah. Melanie. So uh, how have you found having the bookshop open? And oh, wonderful. And um, yeah, because I did publish a book as well, but um, about orbs, because I get orbs in my photos. I get fairies and angels Amazing. and things. And uh, so, yeah. Oh, we'll have to have, I'll have to have I'll a show look. you some yeah, pictures later. Yeah, i to see some pictures. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting. I'm starting to see them really physically now. Like, they're just oh, flying around wonderful. and hovering. And we saw them in Egypt a lot, oh, didn't yeah. we? Yeah, we the energy amazing. there. And we took lots of video footage of incredible, it's like orbs almost rising up from the ground in some yeah. of the tombs and wow. zooming around and hovering and Really incredible. And exciting. Yeah. It's brilliant. Yeah. Really yeah. yeah. Which, awesome. com which completely mm. disputes any of those ideas that it's dust or that oh. it's oh, just oh, totally. yeah. and some, I can Obviously, some of them that. are the light yeah. catching on the sun. Some of them yeah. that, that you see in pictures are. But mm. when the ones are actually ordered and they're coming around and, you know, yeah. looking at you and then they shoot oh, off. Yeah. Sitting on your shoulder. Yeah, and, and move yeah. off yeah. in different yeah. directions. It's amazing how many faces in. Exactly. And I've got one with a face in. And I've got fairies also. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Glastonbury uh, fairy, what? I've got. Yeah. In the chalice well? Or? Yes. Yeah, I've seen loads of them in there. I've got a photo of a, a little green fairy showing its bare bottom with little wings coming out the back and it was just formed in like the shape and the shadow of the leaves that it just yeah. reveals yeah. itself. This was on the leaves. On leaves. And that, oh, you have yeah. to see yeah. this. Yeah. To see it. Oh my God. What an amazing yeah. idea for a book too because yeah. yeah. I see them all the time. We had in uh, France last year this amazing galactic Arcturian being turn up in our photo. And yeah, like, I saw and that. I think yeah. I saw that on Brigon. Yeah, Brigon. Yeah. Brigon. Yeah. Brigon. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I love Brigon. Just amazing, isn't it? Yeah. Like, that we're all starting to, this is the thing, it's becoming yeah. more part of our everyday reality yeah. and it's sort of, you know, they're peeking out and going, yeah. oh, yeah. if you have eyes to see, yeah. we yeah. will show ourselves. Well, it's the vibration changing, isn't yeah, it? So absolutely. it's making it so much clearer as it's yeah. sort of raising. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so you, are you aware of any um, guardians that you have here in the bookshop? Any spirit guardians so, that you've connected with? Well, um, I know I have dragons here. I, I love dragons. I, <laughs> um, I was born in the year of the dragon, mm -hmm. and so I've, I've got dragon, a very strong yes. connection. And I recently had um, some sound therapy, um, a gong session with a lady, and dragon energy majorly came in so I right. think there's a, um, a more of a shift going towards that so yeah. I'll be I think looking into dragon energy a bit more so I know mm -hmm. I've got those here and I have some crystal ones as well some crystal right. guardians here as well and are you writing a book about the dragons or no I'm not mm -hmm. but maybe <laughs> maybe, 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 I yeah. <laughs> maybe I should maybe I should maybe I should it needs yeah. to happen yeah yeah I know well somebody was saying saying a while ago that um came up in a reading that I should start writing um, yeah. children's books actually yeah. wow. so maybe wow. you were really standing in the in the children's, children's section, section just for inspiration yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Harry Potter, Harry Potter, Harry Potter yeah. nothing but my kids than dragons I, know. I think this yeah. is the thing like mm. there, I think there does need to be more for the kids that is a bit more kind of yeah. magical spiritual that that yeah. opens them up to these realms because they all come mm. in wide awake yeah, and course. then you know the schooling system and the, yeah, the, of course, the, just the way society down. just closes yeah. you down doesn't it of course yeah. it does we all do. like being kids waking up yeah. again yeah but it's very hard because they seem quite hard on anything that's creative anything mm. that's not you know math science or english or you yeah. know the academic real that's, academic yeah. stuff they seem to really just shut down so you know i, I used to um, rehearse for um, operas with Southgate Opera and we used to be connected with the college there but they closed the music department down to <laughs> expand oh their IT gosh. department mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. the singing, the amazing singing, I mean it so was, healing. yeah it's it's so therapeutic yeah absolutely you know and oh uh, it's just I feel a real step backwards it's yeah. because it's but then it's, people are coming out and finding yeah. it in like not in the mainstream, like yeah. people yeah. putting on other concerts and, yeah. and groups like that. I think if, if it's not available on the curriculum, mm. people will find it. It's like all these underground movements yeah, coming up true, now. True. It's funny, I've got two sisters who are teachers. One teaches art mm. and one teaches drama. Yeah. And they have the same struggle. Yeah. Like mm. the, It's like their kids are marked down at the end of the scaling system and then the maths and the English and the science is marked up. But anything mm. that's like you know, arts and humanities mm. is like not given the, yeah. the, the mm. and you know, we know that the history they teach in school isn't the real history anyway, so. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's so left yeah. brain, isn't it? Yeah. And you it's need balance, hemispheric mm. balance is so important for us to be mm. complete human beings. You've got yeah. to work with both sides, otherwise yeah. it just does become 
it's very limited, very restricted yeah. way of experience. We'd all be like world. robots if yeah. we didn't have the heart, the access to the joy and the heart and the art and the, and the beauty. Totally, yeah. 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 And that's why creativity is so important. And whether it is music mm. or yeah. dancing or you know whatever the painting, exactly, whatever the expression <laughs> yeah. is, yeah. we need yeah. to nurture that side. Of course. And of course, as children, their mm. imaginations are the bits that mm. make yeah. everything so magical. Yeah, of course. Mm. Mm. And we need more of that. So yes, dragon book, please. Yeah, yeah dragon book. <laughs> I love a dragon book. <laughs> <laughs> you can come here. I love it. <laughs> you want the kids? Do I talk would be back. Yeah. 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 yeah, true, true. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you can't be at a bookshop owner and not have your own book. I know. On it needs to be on a plinth yeah, in nice. the front window. Yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. Show Oh, I'm getting fence. goosebumps. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> amazing. You got for the shop in future? Are you planning an expansion? Are you planning on opening other branches eventually? Um, What's your vision? I don't know. I haven't really set any vision for that. It's um, it's quite something running your own business yeah, and yeah. finding the time to do all these extra mm. things when you've got other things to do and you have all the you know the mundane things coming up. You know, mm. like accounts and you've got all that to sort out. Then you yeah. want to buy this. You've got to buy you know all your orders make sure they're in you know you're trying to supply for schools if yeah. you can you know trying to be you know prices it's really hard you know yeah. as, a, as a retail shop you know it is quite hard when you start taking it back to sort of that side and I find that the struggle I think right. because yeah. I want to be more heart based <laughs> although I still need to be a business yeah. Yeah. I do want it to be, be more yeah. yeah exactly I do want it to be heart based I don't want it just to be no, and you, you have know. to earn a living. Exactly. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. Your, it's your way of earning a living, isn't it? Yeah. It's your business. So, yeah, it's both sides. But you've been here for five years, haven't you? Yeah, so, five years. Amazing. So it's a good sign. We have lots of lovely support from yeah. the locals and um, do see lots of the little ones. So the children's section is one of the biggest going from... Yeah you know, no, newborns. And they have toys too. <laughs> yeah, we do, we have toys. Toys for grown-ups and children. Crystals <laughs> for grown-ups yes. and children. Yes. Oh, definitely. Yeah, we've got, we've got sort of bits so of everything. Soft. We have some greeting cards and, um, yeah, but I find the biggest section is the children's because obviously it's important when they're mm. growing and developing, they really yeah. need to have the access. Yeah. Um, but it could be quite yeah, 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 I, 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 I might be, I might be competing. Let's this see the letters. Oh, Lexi, I like her. <laughs> I, I, like. Yeah. Yeah. I love that you said how much the kids go running up to the crystals. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It just says it all, doesn't oh, it? It does. Yeah. They totally know me. Somebody came in one time and they had little one in a pram and they were just <gasps> wanted to hold this crystal and they literally just moved them away from it and was like, no, and they were like, nah. <laughs> they were crying out after touching the crystal and I was just like, they only want Let to hold it. <laughs> but you know, you can't interfere, no. you can't interfere in yeah. that sort of thing. But I was just like, oh dear, yeah. you know, so somebody's not happy. Up on <laughs> yeah, definitely. But I mean, these are so well made. I mean, these have so got a bit soft. of a weighted, I know, but a weighted tail has got like so beads cute. in the tail. So it falls like a cat's tail word, oh, you know, sort no. of springs, swings, yeah. swings yeah. and springs, but they are beautifully soft. I don't know any other brand quite like it. No, no. Which some, brand is this? This is a jelly cat brand. Oh, it is. They make yeah. my my nephew has a monkey, and he's got a collection of about five of these monkeys because okay. if he ever lost Lose one, you need another one. But he always knew which one the original one was. Of course, Jack the monkey. Oh, yeah. And he, if he would be like, that's Imposter Jack. <laughs> <laughs> No, you can't fool these kids. No, you it's can't. Incredible. A favourite is a favourite. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah. And, then, and the other yeah. one will always be a substitute. Yes, yeah, you absolutely. Can't. Yes. But, you know, you try. You do try. <laughs> That's yeah. amazing. So, is, yeah. there, is there anything else that you would like to, to mm. say about you or the shop or anything you want to say to our to our viewers today, Jo? Come and visit. Yeah. Come, Come and visit. visit. Yeah. Come and visit yeah. and visit us in Chingford and, shop. yeah, experience the magic for yes. yourself. Yeah. And you know, stone throw from the forest, it's a perfect opportunity yeah. to yeah. connect with the trees. We've got the train close by. Yeah, the train yeah. is the street. street. So awesome Very street. easy to get to. Yeah, some seven sisters yeah. on the train. It's yeah. like 30 minutes or so. It's yeah. not even yeah. far yeah. at all. No, yeah. I mean, you know, you're sort of about half an hour and you're at Liverpool Street yeah. from here. Yeah. So it's really wow. not far away yeah. at all from the city. So. Yeah. Do good. come visit. Yeah, do come, come visit. visit. And, and come then to the yeah. events. And come to the events. And yeah. How can people find you online? It's Facebook so, as well. Yeah, so it's you? Facebook, yeah. So we've got Joe's Bookshop Chingford on Facebook and I have the events there. I do also have a Chingford Crystal page for people who are just interested in the crystals and the spiritual side. Um, but all the events appear under my main bookshop page, which is Joe's Bookshop. Um, and I'm also on Instagram and Twitter um, at Chingford Books. So I can be found Excellent. there as well. 
yeah, I don't have a main website yet. But and Pam, just for our viewers, what's your book called? Oh, amazing orbs. Amazing orbs. Is it? Can we buy it online and I, it's buy it actually, here? Not, no, not anymore. So oh. it's, I, um, it's out of print now. Oh so no, we need to re enliven it. I think it'll be a different one. I think it'll yeah. be a different one that'll yes. come out. Um, yeah, there's a, there's a bit of a history behind that story that is yeah, probably a bit so too long to go into yeah. now. <laughs> but um, yeah. Well, we look for we need to, to bring yeah. another one so out. You do, you do. Which will be a lot of fairy photos and things like that in it as well. Updated. Yeah, because they came around my watercolour because I paint flowers in watercolour and that's when the fairies, a lot of them turned up. Right, mm. right. Yes. For the flowers. Mm. Oh yeah, yeah, they did. They'd come and check out the flowers. Yeah. <laughs> well, this is yeah, the we can't well. all be mad if we're all seeing them and, and they're turning up in really. photographs and they're no. turning up in art. So, yeah. you know, yeah. sorry, yeah. but it's part of our awakening gifts, everybody. <laughs> Amazing. But right. other people have seen them because they've seen the ball of light shoot out of my bag yeah. in my art group. Like, oh, what was that? that? You know, Ooh, you're yeah. up the other end of the hall, and this ball of light shot out of your bag. Oh, you no, I wonder who that was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, fantastic. Oh, ladies, thank you so, so much for being thank here you. today. What an honour to be here, and thank you for having oh, me up here to pleasure. talk about my book. I'm so excited. I'm looking forward to it. Um, it be lovely. Yeah, I'm, gonna, I'm hoping to, to video some, so we'll tag it on the end of the, yeah. the interview or something. Yeah. Yeah, lovely. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, Thanks. for watching. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.